No, I don't think they are. No. No. But we can't do enough to protect our kids. we got to make sure that our kids are aware of the threats on social media. Absolutely not. The Congressional Black Caucus has been on this now for at least 20 years. Well, absolutely not. And I think Senator Blackburn from the great state of Tennessee, my colleague, is going to hold her feet to the fire. So I haven't seen much of that. I've had hearings of my own. But that's yet to be seen. I'm sure they'll send something out that will be worthy to look at anyway. We'll see what they do to them. It should be very obvious but what you see in terms of the content, what's happening with youth depression, what's happening with youth suicide. And a lot of it's driven by what's what they're getting access to in, in the social media. Tech CEOs have utterly and completely failed to act adequately to protect children online. And that's the reason why they've lost trust. They've completely squandered their credibility and everyone agrees Republicans and Democrats that we need to move forward with rules and safeguards for kids that are in the law, not relying on them to do the right thing. We have um, a responsibility to protect children, of course, but it starts with parents. The problem gets worse, not better. Well, there's a lot more that we can do to safeguard uh, children on social media. If you look at the statistics and actually the numbers on uh, the mental health issues caused by social media use and the addictive nature of that and the predatory nature of what goes on online, there's a whole lot more big tech to be doing. Young children are being targeted for advertising, for indoctrination. You know, you know one of their concerns with uh, TikTok, for example, is the influence that communist China has. Uh, so we need to see more protections of our children on the internet so they aren't targeted uh, in, in ways that can hurt them mentally, emotionally, or physically. I want to see TikTok banned in the United States for a start. They have the ability uh, to adjust their um, algorithms to prevent advertising to children that targets children, especially preteens who are susceptible to uh, criticism. I don't think we can ever do enough to safeguard our, our children on social media, right? Um, I think there's uh, uh, some constitutional considerations here between First Amendment uh, rights, uh, which need to be balanced with the fact that uh, a lot of these technologies are are putting misinformation out and influencing um, not just our kids, but our our constituents, our voters, in ways that, that frankly are um, nefarious in some cases, right? So uh, we've got to make the protection, make sure the protections are in place while still honoring the Constitution.